Hey everybody, welcome back to probably the last episode. Uh, you read the title, we didn't. We're recording this before it's being uploaded, believe it or not. That's how time works. Um, we've been listening to this song for like 20 minutes. Oh, well, the dry <laughs> and I have been. Yeah. Uh, I think we're ready to just get going, but because this is probably the final episode, and the, what I call Bowser's Castle, is so incredibly bullshit, I'm gonna try and give you guys a fair shot at figuring out some of these puzzles. Real Wait, quick. Don't, don't move. I want okay. you to try to pick up Cedric. Unfortunately, nothing can be done about the wrecked boat. It appears nope. that Graham and Cedric <laughs> are stuck here, perhaps Ced forever. Cedric's not a boat. Oh, no, I can't click Cedric, okay. Uh, uh. Oh. Um, so let's just give ourselves a refresher of our inventory so that we're all on the same page here. Okay, so we have the key that opened the tree in the forest. That's now useless. Um, I'll just say that right now. You can't use that again. We have an empty bag, we have a crystal, we have a carpenter, no, a cobbler's hammer, a golden pendant necklace, a magic repellent necklace, a wand that has no magic charge, an iron bar, a fish hook, a tambourine, and a rotten fish. All right. Let's MacGyver our way through the castle. Don't fall off the edge, you can die like five different spots here. Oh, I thought I died for a second. All right. Ooh, I don't like this place. It's creepy. Two poisonous snakes. <laughs> uh, let's just drop a save here. Oh, what happens if we just approach? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> that was violent. Too bad. It looks Graham, be careful. I have it. All right. So this is either the magic repellent. Okay. If that doesn't work, I have an idea. <laughs> okay, it's not the magic repellent uh, pendant. What is it? So the iron rod? It is not the iron rod, but you've got the general idea. The hammer? No. The crystal? Yes. <laughs> By the power of Grey Skull. Pew! <laughs> <laughs> I still remember that. It looks so He-Man, doesn't it? It looks like he's raising a sword. If Hell only yeah. he got more buff at the end. Yeah. All right, believe it or not, this has nothing to do with anything. You can't go up there. As far as I remember, that's actually, um. this looks like I just climb a ledge, right? It looks like this. Yeah, but it could be a pit. Let's turn back. Yeah. Come on, Cedric. Probably every time I played this, I forgot that this is a pit. No, Graham, don't! <laughs> well. It doesn't look like a fucking pit. God. All right. I hate to wait for Cedric. Yeah, it's annoying. I was actually about to comment on that. Get in. Let's go back now. There's stairs right there. No, I'll figure this out. That's actually a grate, I believe. Graham notices a rusted grate embedded in the platform next to Mordak's castle. Great, great, great! What is, what is that? Do 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 do. Uh, a f weird song. Graham tugs hard on the grate, but soon finds it's rusted in place and can't be budged. All right, this is an easy puzzle. What do I use? The hammer. No. The iron dead rod? fish. Iron rod. Yeah, you just pry it open. Yeah. The pendant. Use the Cedric. Nullify magic. <laughs> Use the crystal. Magic missile. Uh, that wouldn't hold, but okay. Yeah, God, no, it wouldn't. It's uh, diving in. All right. Ooh, you're crazy to go down into that dark hole. You don't know what's down there. Okay, well, Cedric, do you have fuck any up. better ideas? <laughs> he's even he's you sick of Cedric. Mind if I wait for you here? No, that's a good idea, Cedric. You be the lookout out here. Uh, yes, I'll be the lookout. Ooh, be careful, Graham. Fucking Cedric. All right, time for secret file three, everybody. <laughs> Open it up. We're gonna fucking need it. Oh boy. Okay, when you guys open that, 
there's three random points on your map that are gonna say like beast pit or beast den or something. Beast corner. Beast corner. We need to visit every beast corner to find the beast, uh, cause he's got an item we need. Uh, first one you can get to, I guess the quickest way is down three, left two, up one. Okay, and by the way, you are literally supposed to just wander this whole place and map it. Like, there's nothing in game that tells you. Okay, so you said down. Th oh God, no! I forgot the perspective changes. Okay, so you're, you guys are gonna have a hell of a time following this. I just clicked down, and it made me turn around. You'll go forward. Okay, forward. Okay, now am I going right or left at the turn? You're going right. Okay, and ignore those little things crawling around. They don't mean anything. Okay. No, forward, forward. forward. Yeah, and then around this yeah. corner. Hey, we found him right away! That's lucky. A huge beast, sporting a fluffy topknot, bound in a crude hairpin on top of his head, skulks in one dark corner of the labyrinth. Talk to him. Okay, we don't speak his beast. language, I guess. Uh, beast. I'm just gonna do this because you're not gonna guess it. <laughs> a beast sporting a man bun. Yeah. Before it was cool. What the fuck is happening? He's like if Strong Sad Whoa. really hit the, like, went to the dark side. Yep. Graham reaches down and grabs the hairpin off Why the his mouth open? floor. I don't know. Okay, so now oh. all we need to do is leave the, uh, the labyrinth. So we need to go to, I think it'll be called Pantry Door on the map? Oh, Jesus. That's all the way on the other end, but okay. Yep, we're going to the pantry. Uh, left. Hang a left, yeah. Uh, and then right. go forward. Until go you forward hit. until you can. Okay. Yeah. So I hit a wall, so I'm going left. Yeah, go left. Go up until you go on the wall. Yeah. Okay. Then turn. Yeah. Yeah. Turn right. And, and then, then left. left. Then right. One more then time. right. God, this control's like shit. <laughs> okay. And then again. Left, yeah, because that's a dead end ahead. Okay. And, and then right. forward, then left. Okay. And then keep going. Just follow yeah. the path. Yeah. We're actually doing better at this navigation than I thought we would. Oh, thank God. Graham yeah, have to, to use open the, the wooden door. But to no Did you need to... As it's securely locked. Did you need yeah. to... Uh dungeon room on this map no that's for later the hairpin okay. is made of a carved piece of bone with a sharp metal clip attached to it yeah i believe you we think that we've... the key is important right no that's just from the forest it's left over it's never used for the rest of the game so this is just like a lock pick yeah graham inserts the hairpin into the door's large keyhole and discovers to his amazement that it fits perfectly turning it ever so gently he soon hears a soft click and the door is unlocked. I just want to point out that earlier in the game, we had a large golden needle and we had a padlock and we couldn't pick it. Mm. All right. Now, before we progress, this area looks like you're supposed to just walk through, but no, nope. we need to go in this cupboard. Inside the cupboard, Graham's eyes fall upon a bag of dried peas. And it's really important. Reaching into the open cupboard, Graham retrieves the bag of dried peas. Yay! Okay, we are almost at one of the hardest parts of the game, but first we have cutscene. You recognize that music? Oh. No, yep. At the very beginning of King's Quest VI. It was used quite a bit in King's Quest VI. It was used whenever a certain character was on screen. <gasps> I would never hurt you. I'd like to help you. But her eyes are pink, like the snake. <laughs> it's glowing, like the snake. Just go away, please. I don't want to talk to you anymore. All right, so we need to convince her that we're trustworthy. How do you befriend a woman? We give her peas. No, and it's not the hammer. <laughs> Pull down your pants. No. Get her with the hook. My no. experiences with women are very lacking. I'll have you know. Okay, you're you're not completely off off base. If we're gonna go with stereotypes, it's either dick or jewelry. <laughs> Warning: This cartoon <laughs> hit her with your wand. I was very close. Yeah, with your with your wand that you get from pulling down your pants. Yes. Forever, do 
did you find my gold locket? What? I thought it was gone for good. Yeah, apparently Doesn't she Doesn't Graham look like a gorilla I here? I yeah. Here by look at that slack jaw. You believe me, even if I told you. But tell me, who are you, and how did you come to be? This looks like it's about to be my some DOS porn. Kasima, from the Kingdom of the Green Isle. Yeah, this is the introduction of Kasima. employs a horrible wazir who befriended Mordak. When Mordak saw me, he immediately wished to marry me and bring me here. Everybody wants to marry you, eh? Yep. And my father agreed with me. I mean, that's the whole fucking plot of six. Yeah. That he stole me here anyway and put me to work as a scullery girl. He says he will never let me go. That a scullery girl I will remain until I agree to marry him. But the thought revolts me. What am I to do? Don't worry. I'm here to save my family from the evil wizard. He's got them here someplace imprisoned inside a glass bottle. If I can manage to rescue them, then of course I wouldn't forget you either. I know the glass bottle you're talking about. It's in Mordak's laboratory upstairs. Keep quiet about my presence. Uh, I think this will be the most difficult part of my journey. I may not survive it. I would never give you away. And I will help you in any way I can, kind sir. Okay, uh, so we've befriended Kasima. We need that to beat the game. All right, the uh, the hardest part. Okay, so I know all the puzzles coming up. However, this part is so random that I've never found someone who can properly explain how this is programmed. For the rest of the castle in any given random room, I could either get kidnapped by a blue demon or Mordak could just teleport into the room and force choke me. Actually, it looks more like Graham is choking himself to death. <laughs> and it's, I don't think anyone really knows the rhyme or reason. And the really frustrating part is you need one of those two things to happen. Uh, there's a lot of things you kind of need to happen and all of it is guesswork. And even though I know what I'm supposed to do, it's still kind of random. Um, so let's wander around and hope we get kidnapped and not choked. Let's just play this. Graham watches in horrified fascination as the grotesque organ begins to magically play an eerie tune all by itself. I like that. That's pretty great. All right, I'm leaving. It's like not even Gary or anything. <laughs> All right, so just in any given room, I could just die. I kind of hope it happens just because it's really funny. Yeah, this. <laughs> Goodbye, King Graham of Daventry. <laughs> and then I choke myself. <laughs> Couldn't you use the anti-magic necklace? Like, couldn't you put it That's on? What I was thinking. No, it's, it's not strong enough. Poor Graham. Mordak <laughs> shows no mercy. Yeah, you could, that could just happen in any room beyond the pantry. Um, I have no control over it. Uh, the event that I needed to have happen could also happen in any given room past the pantry. Could happen in that room, could happen in this room, could happen, I've seen it happen plenty down here. Um, he just didn't show up that time. Could happen here. No, hasn't happened yet. Okay, I'll go upstairs. Oh, oh, it was gonna happen there, but I walked up the stairs too fast. Okay. Um, what if I go in here? Oh, I think I insta-die if I go in here. Yeah, because he's standing Goodbye, right there. King Graham of Daventry. He's not surprised at all. <laughs> he's got some range on that. That's a good spell. Yeah. So, you know how I said that I know people who spent- Oh, and her clothes glitched out. Uh, yeah, so and the yours. whole fire. Oh, Jesus, oh, no. a lot of the room glitched out. I'm out of here. Well, oh, your hair was golden, too. Yeah. Huh. Um, so, you know, I told you before, like, in the forest, I know people who it took the months of their life to get out of that forest. There's another puzzle like that in this castle where it's like, you might just not know for months what to do or and once you figure it out you're like really really angry uh there's something like that in this castle as well so we've done basically every room already we've at least been in every room there's the lab there you die over here's the bedroom oh great he's here goodbye. this time I, fuck <laughs> goodbye Ugh. 
So you notice like nothing really stands out in these rooms either than them just kind of looking cool in general. Like, oh, Jesus, <laughs> again. <laughs> All right, if I stand in a room, the blue demon might show up to kidnap me. But if I stand in a room too long, Mordak might also just choke me out. So again, it's completely random. We need to get kidnapped by the blue demon right now to progress. So if he doesn't show up after like 15 seconds, I should just change room. Hope for the best. Mm, nothing. There's no items to pick up here, by the way, in case you're wondering. Like, we pretty much have the inventory for almost the rest of the game. There's a cat. Let's talk to him. You. How did you get here? Yeah, that's the fucker from King's I Quest 3. Far, over land and sea. Never mind. Your journey is now over. Alright, so he caught me, so we're now doomed. I believe Mordek just shows up to kill me if the cat sees you. Because that's Mordek's brother. That's the one that Alexander turned into a cat in King's Quest 3. King's Quest 3 is probably the coolest plot for a King's Quest game. And, like, gameplay-wise and everything, it's super cool. Where you're, you're Alexander, and you are the slave of an evil wizard. And you need- you have, like, seven days in-game where you need to do all your chores and everything to not die. Well, also sneaking out and trying to get all of the ingredients you need for a spell to turn him into a cat. It's really cool, actually. Yes! Oh, thank God! Why did it happen that time and not any other time? <laughs> See what I mean about it being totally random? Mm. Yay! But you need to make sure you only get kidnapped once. Okay. Oh no, the undertow! Oh no! All right. Hi, little rat friend. So, if we wait in here long enough, Kasima saves us because we, we got Kasima. However, do you see anything interactable in this room? The skeleton. No. The hair thing in the water. Hair thing in the water. That blue... Oh, oh mind, that was a drop. drop of water. Um, That brown thing on the other edge of the water. No. The thing that looks like a weird smiley face. <laughs> No. Uh. <laughs> Guess at home chat. See if you can figure it out. I'll be premiering this. I'm looking for pixels that look fucked up. I'll tell you now, this is worse than a pixel hunt. There is no pixel to click on. You have to just know. Just in the water. No. The skeleton's chain. No. The moss on the wall. No. The hole the rat went through. Oh. Graham finds well, that would be easy. Is too large to reach very far into the small mouse hole. Ooh. Okay, so you use the hook. In the water. There. Got it. The fish hook did the trick in retrieving the piece of cheese from the mouse hole. You need what to the get fuck? you need to get kidnapped so that you can use a random item on a random part of the background to get a piece of cheese that you can't beat the game without. This is why you have to get kidnapped once. You were and in the fucking pantry. Yep. I couldn't just find cheese there. And also, this is why you have to get kidnapped, because it's the only way into the dungeon. Which means we may need the map. However, Hello. if we're quick, we can follow Kasima. What? Oh, Princess Kasima, where did you come from? The wall. From the labyrinth. I spend a lot of time down here, you know, with my friends. The monsters? Friends? Yes. Like Dink and Sam. I don't know if you ever saw Sam or not. Anyway, I found this blue stone once that led here, to this cell. Now come on, you'd better get out of here. I get a new voice in the next game, when they hired actors. <laughs> All right, let's go. Now, if I'm quick, we won't even need the map for this, but she fucking rockets and you can't walk while she's walking. It's bullshit. And if you wait too long, I believe she just walks off without you. Jesus. The speed of her. <laughs> this is worse if you played it on, uh, on the old DOS versions where the game ran at a higher speed. So I'm confused. So now there's another, there's more random events that could get us killed from here on. Yes, uh, I could still get choked out in any room, and if I get kidnapped by the blue guy again, I just die. She doesn't save you a second time. So there's, oh, and if the cat sees you, you'll also get choked out, because he informs Mordak. 
So there's still like tons of random death. Uh, okay, so we did all that for the cheese and she's just right back to mopping. We can drop a save again. Jeez. Okay. So there's a few things we need to do now. If we take a look at our inventory, moldy cheese, we've got the peas, we have the fish. Okay. Moldy looks like we're making Looks like we're making a gross dinner. Yeah, we have a lot of food items, actually. Okay. Um, can I remember everything that we need to do? There's one thing that I think we need to do, and I don't remember why we need to do it. But I'm going to just show you some shit first, because I need some of the stuff is random anyway, so I'll need to wander a bit. And I got to pay attention to the music because it changes when the blue guy's coming at me. And sometimes he's coming from the doorway you're about to walk through and he just fucks you. But we need him to show up again so we can take him out. I have your ah, fuck, I You're bumped dead. into the cat. Run away! I don't know if that actually saved me. It probably won't. This looks like a place, by the way. It's just not. Ah, uh, yeah. No! Good. Yeah, I, I think that no matter what, you're going to get choked out if you alert the cat. Um, and the death is slow. <laughs> Although this on the fast animation looks hilarious. Poor Graham. Poor Graham. Okay, um, so we need the blue guy to show up. We need the cat to show up. But I want to get to a certain room to show you why. Because it will blow your fucking mind. It makes no sense. It's one of those things in adventure games where two events are required to happen in a certain order, but for literally no reason. Uh, I was already through the load zone is I need, so in the bedroom here, if we go over here, hopefully Mordek won't be in here. Sometimes he's just not. Okay, he wasn't this time. Okay, so I'm I'm hovering up here so the time doesn't pass. Does anything look interesting in this room to you in terms of like utility? Like it's cool artwork actually, like the creepy angel and the bed is like a dragon mouth. But what uh, here actually looks of interest? Like what would you try to interact with or like anything like that? Maybe the I, statue by the door. Yeah, I can see that. The crystal ball that's near us. In the foreground. Yeah, yeah, maybe. It's like some kind of lamp or crystal ball. It looks like there might be something in the background, like a location you could walk. You can't actually walk there. I don't know what that is. I think it's a window, it maybe. Like, it looks like it could be like a balcony with a window. Maybe. The bedside table. Yeah. Okay. That thing, that thing on the far left, whatever the fuck, not the white thing, but the thing that looks like it's in a doorway. Uh, on, oh, on the far left. Yeah, that's like a vase or something. That is actually a wall. Um, do you see anything in the foreground of interest either than the crystal ball? Those weird heads. I can kind of see that. So you know what you're supposed to do in this room? Touch the googly spider thing. That's a doorway. Oh. Yeah, I know people who took months of their life to figure that out and were so angry and they figured it out. So I'll just get choked out in here probably. For no particular reason, you need to catch the cat in a bag or else Mordak will never show up and go to sleep in that room. The solution to this puzzle is catch the cat in a bag and throw the peas on the ground to wipe out the blue demon and then walk into this room and stand still for about a minute and then Mordak will just fall asleep. I don't huh. know how you're supposed to know to do that. Uh, am I allowed to do this now? Tome lying open upon a corner desk attracts Graham's curiosity. Okay. That eyeball just looked at me. I think that might have fucked me over. You're probably gonna die. Yeah, because Mordek's still awake. Hmm, this looks interesting. Graham wonders what the symbols mean. All right. So we, that's not in our inventory that we've read that, but that is a solution to a puzzle, which is why we got the ding. Okay, so we need to actually go out there and, okay, the cat spawned here, which is hilarious when the cat spawns here, because that means you beg him in this room, leave him on the floor, and Mordek just goes to sleep next to a screaming cat. Um, before we can beg the cat, you need to throw a fish at him. What? But it's rotted. <laughs> yeah, and it's also not actually a cat. It's a man, so I don't know why he's going for it. Don't bother the cat with that. Don't bother the cat with that. Wait, are you sure? Don't bother the cat with that. I'm fairly sure that's what I'm supposed to do. Those claws look awfully sharp. I'm like 99% sure I'm supposed to bother the cat with that. 
No, it's the empty bag of peas. Oh, what a fool I was for getting that one empty bag works and the other empty bag doesn't. Right, that's why you that's need to wipe out the blue I don't guard. Use it. The reason you need to take out the blue guard is not because he beats you in any way. It's because you need to empty the bag of peas so that you can catch a cat in it. You know, I could just dump the peas out in any other room, but no, you're not allowed to unless you wipe out the guard. <sighs> Despawn, please. I don't want to run into the cat. I just want to get into that side room where it seems like the blue demon always spawns. Because sometimes he spawns in that previous room, too. He can spawn in any of these rooms. He just seems to spawn here a lot. Fuck! fuck. Why? <laughs> God damn it. See what I mean? Like, sometimes Mordek just kills you. This is why this area is horrible. This is why this game would be awful to speed run. Cool. Because, right. like, the very end of the game, like, you could do the whole game without saving if you're careful about where you click. Not this part. This part's just luck. You just gotta make a save and keep loading until the right thing appears. All right. Keep going. Okay. Is he gonna appear in this room? Because I've seen him appear here. Here we go. <laughs> Fuck the police. Graham wants no part of this beast. I, th I thought I'm the one who makes decisions for Graham. Is he gonna come back? Uh, I think he can, but you can outrun him. He's not that bad. Okay, I just need the cat to appear. Mordak's gonna be in that room and kill you. Yeah, he can, the cat can appear in almost any room. I don't think he can appear in the hallways. Ooh, Mordak's mm. not in here. All right, is the cat in here now? Hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> I thought Mordak was just gonna kill me that time. Whoa. Yeah, I got a hell of an arm. Now he's gonna see me coming. Oh, but I can use this. No. I can't use the other bag. <laughs> he changed color. All right. Now we just leave the screaming bag cat. We leave it right there and we stand right here where he can't see us from the doorway. And then we wait. <clears throat> I'd go for the book now, but I'm petrified that I'm gonna get caught because he can teleport in this room and choke you. You'd never think to wait this long, right? Right. It, it's almost making me second guess it. Like, oh, have I done something wrong? Nothing's happened yet. But I'm not convinced I've done anything wrong. I'm going to... Read the book. Just in case it needs to have marked off that I have done that first. Hmm, this looks interesting. Yeah, yeah. Graham wonders what the symbols mean. Okay. Give it a second. If he doesn't appear within, like, 20 seconds, I'm gonna walk out there and try to interact with the cat. I don't think I need to, though. Come on! Hey, I'm going to risk it. The cat's still there, okay. Can I talk to it? Cool. It wouldn't be wise for Graham to carry the cat around. Yeah. The cat struggles in vain inside the bag. Okay. I'm gonna walk back in here. Go away from the doorway. And we're gonna wait a little bit. I swear to God. I swear to God this is what you're supposed to do. I did this most recently like three months ago. Is there any step I could be missing? I took out the guard. I got the cheese. What's left? Do I need to get an item from the lab? No, I don't think there's any items in the lab yet. I'm pretty sure lab is insta-death if he's not asleep. 
I mean, I did a safety save just in case. He's already in the bag. Let's go to the lab. What happens? I swear to God, if I end up needing to look up a guide. He's not here right now. Okay. Tears come to Graham's eyes as he sees his beloved family and castle held captive inside a large glass bottle. All right. But the glass bottle itself is uncorked. Looking at his frantically waving family inside their glass prison causes Graham's heart to break as he realizes his current inability to save them from their terrible predicament. All right. Let's go up here. I don't think we can do this puzzle yet, though. We need Mordak to go to sleep so we can get his wand. If we go over here, we can get his giant weird contraption, but there's no item to pick up here yet, is there? No. Well, oh, he's not in here. No he's went to bed. Mordak does with his strange contraption, but it couldn't be good. Inside as far as the lower I... portion, a foul-smelling liquid bubbles, while two dangling spiked gizmos hang on a massive yoke above a couple of flat iron platters. As far as I know, he can't go to sleep unless you're in the library. I'll go back over there and check. Maybe now that I've I've looked at the family. God, I love that Graham, walk. would you walk faster? Maybe now that we've looked at the family, he'll go to sleep. I don't know. I'm not missing any items. Hold on. Do I? Let me just look right now. Do I have every item I need to beat the game? I. Yes. Yes, I do have every item I need to beat the game right now. And I read the yes. spell book. Yes, I know that. It's in the book. That's more applicable now than ever. <laughs> that reference. When I was in the service, my dad, he kidnapped my family. I'm just gonna... Why is there no music now? Because he's asleep. I don't know, I'm interact with the book again. The strange symbols have been burned into Graham's memory, and uh, there is no mm. need to look at them again. Perhaps they'll be of use later. There's... All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab my phone, and I'm going to go double check to make sure that I'm doing this right on the internet. And while we do that, we're going to sit in this room and I'm going to fast forward to either when I have the solution or to when Mordek goes to fucking sleep because I'm in the spot where he's supposed to go to sleep and it wouldn't blow my mind at all if he's just wasting my time. Use the hairpin to get through the door. Open the cupboard, take the peas, give the locket to Cosima. Talk to her again. What? In the background, did you see it? Uh -huh. He just went to sleep. <clears throat> I've been in this room for like five minutes. That was the solution. That was, was... a fast five minutes. Oh my God. I'll, I'll flash a time code on screen of how long we just had to stand here in dead silence. Was it looking? Would you ever in your fucking life guess to do that? To stand maybe in, to stand in this room for no reason with no hinting game that you have to do this for entire minutes. Well, oh you remarked on God. how the the music stopped. That was a glitch, though. It's not supposed to do that. Was it actually? Yes, it's not supposed okay. to stop the music. It would not be a good idea to bother Mordak right now. Isn't that his wand right there? Fuck. All right, I'm leaving. I think you can talk to him and he'll just get up and choke you. All right. Yeah, the music is not going. Your castle. Yeah, the music is supposed to be going. See, I thought that was a design choice. Nope. But I guess I'm giving this game too much credit. Nope. It's not the first time that the audio has glitched out. Hut, All right. Hut, hut, um, hut, 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 yeah, hut. like genuinely, I the answer is walk in that room, stand there for entire minutes. You would never guess this. It is completely unfair. This game is horse shit. Okay. Um, you can fuck this up, I think. So. Fuck.
I'm going to put his wand on one pedestal. And the bad wand on the other one. Yes. Now, how do we transfer power from one wand to the other? Do you guys know how we do that? Using a rotten fish. No, we already threw that with away. cheese. Yes, rotten we, cheese yes, with we, fish on it. Yes, we throw cheese at the machine. Throw the cheese! Yeah, because there's that bad smell coming from the Green machine. tosses the moldy cheese into the machine's bubbling liquid. And so my video game logic is fueled by moldy cheese. Yes. That's how you activate it. The on switch is moldy cheese. All right, but guys. But why do we have to charge the other wand? I don't why know. Why don't we just use Mordax wand? I don't know. It's not like we're a wizard. We don't know how to use either. This doesn't sound like magic. It sounds like technology. It sounds like a dial-up. Kinda. You guys Welcome ready? We're, we're in like the end of the game, basically. Get pumped. Give it a little while. Man, what's your bod? Mordax wand now barely glows. Perhaps it's Metroid weakened while Christmas mm. old wand now appears completely energized. Yay! The da, 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 da. Here comes the boss battle. Shoot him with your wand. What's going on here? You want to do a second line read? You, you swine. What's going on here? A poisonous snake! <laughs> Whoa! Graham, I've heard from Crispin! Where the what? fuck? <laughs> well. Oh no! GG. What the? What have you done to my wand? You think you can outwit me, little man? Ha! Let me show you a thing or two. Okay. Ah. All right, we gotta use the wand on uh, a giant bug monster ourselves, I believe. Yes. Okay. What do we shape shift into, everybody? What the uh, hell? So it's a giant bug wyvern. We know four shape shifting spells. Which one do we cast? I don't know what half of these are. Is that like a rabbit at the top right? So that's man into rabbit. Oh. Man into rabbit. Yeah. What is the one on the left? Man into fucking lightning bolt. <laughs> That's man, man into mongoose. What the fuck? Uh, what's the bottom left one? That's a rain cloud. Um, that's a tiger at the right. Yes, that is man into tiger. That one, I guess. It's Do it. It's... Why, you little... That spell sucks. Yeah. What? Yeah, it scared him away. He's like a fucking scorpion dragon monster. Yeah, I think he'd win this fight. He can fly. You're a fucking regular ass tiger. Whoa. Yeah, okay, so we need to transform again. Um, what the fuck? Come on, can you guys I get don't know, it? Oh, like a rain cloud? No. The rabbit? Yes. I would think the rain cloud would get rid of the fire. This is the shittiest dragon ever. He's right next to you. You can claw the shit out of him. <laughs> so smart, don't you? Well, I've got you now. Eventually, oh. when the game Just loads. Step on him. Mongoose. Oh no! Easy. Now he's the snake. A poisonous snake. Mongoose versus the viper. Say goodbye, swine. All right, mongoose. It's a good thing we learned very specific spells. We're wringing his neck. So oh, me. Eh, eh. The way you want to play. Oh no, now he's a fire. Yeah, he's an idiot. He turned himself into fire, so we're gonna cast rain. Oh, you don't become the cloud? No, no, this is a summon rainstorm. We evaporated him. Thanks, Mallow. 
So, that is, so he's uh, dead now? Yeah, it's the best way of killing him without having blood. You evaporate him. Yeah, we fucked him up. So we just leave him dead, right? On the ground over there? Yeah. This cartoon. <laughs> Yay! Morning, we beat this cartoon. Fuck you, Cedric. Now I won't Whatever your name is. Don't throw that on ground, you might break it. Just slow walking. And then there's Graham's wife. Who is that whore? Oh, Princess Cosima. Well, Oh, uh, Princess Cosima, uh, my wife might see you. Are you sure? Maybe he's only trying to trick you. He's dead, all right. He turned himself into a fire, and I put him out with rainwater. He'll never bother anyone else ever again. But now I have a bigger problem. Unless he gets in your lungs. About my family or my castle. I don't know how to turn them back to normal. After all you've been through, there must be a way. Fuck Crispin. you, Crispin. You could have done this the whole game. All your problems, Graham. Here's my ex machina magic. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wait, you could teleport the whole this whole time and you knew where this castle was? You could have teleported us here, you prick. Her shirt is getting more and more and torn at the top. Son, she, has Sex eye appeal. she has eyeshadow. Nanan into a cat some time back. Obviously, this deed angered Mordak, who could do nothing about it, since this particular spell could only be undone by the actual perpetrator, your son. It doesn't take a great genius to figure out that Mordak took your family and castle in revenge to try to persuade Alexander to restore Mananan back to his old self. I did discover, as now I see, that your castle and family were miniaturized and imprisoned inside a glass bottle. We've known this since I the start of the game. And found the spell for turning everything back to normal. Now watch. He materializes the castle <laughs> here. Did he just have like three hands Hocus. for a second? Hocus. Wait, did you just fucking get your wand from the ground? Uh, no, I think he has his own wand. But there's no wand on the ground anymore. Oh, he must have, like, teleported it. Valonies, my children, my joy knows no limits. Oh, father, I'm so glad. Yeah, don't rush here. over anything. Yeah. Like our wife's purple plus symbol face. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a dude for some reason. Ah. Now we're just some colored blobs. Head. I don't know. <laughs> Princess Cosima, how could I forget you? Come over here. Cosima, I forgot you exist. <laughs> Come here. Slowly. Uh, Let me introduce you to my family. I don't think the music is supposed to stop. My daughter, See that so dork? Zella. He's my son. <laughs> my son, Prince Alexander, who started this whole mess. All of you, this is Princess I'm madly in love with you for getting us into this mess. Without her, none of us would be standing here now. She bravely saved my life. My lady, I am deeply in your debt, and I will make it up to you. With your permission, I'd like to travel to the land of the Green Isles to see you. I would like to have the plot for the sequel. Prince Alexander, you don't and have to come to the island to see me. We've done with all I'm, I'm here, right, right now. <laughs> Oh yeah, Cedric exists. Eh. You stole my castle, you asshole! <laughs> just now I must him. go on a king's quest to fix it. But now it's time that everyone return to their homes. With my help, of course. Alakazam, Alakazoo, Alaka. Wait, what about Cedric? We just remembered. Who? <laughs> Where is Cedric? Over there. He's dead over there. Mordak may have killed him. <laughs> Cedric gets like a thousand spears uh, yes. put into his corpse. I think, I I think he may have killed him. Abra? Abra no, uh, 
Abracabara. Isn't that Mega Abra? Now, what is that confounded word? Confound them! Abra! Abra! Just once again reminding you this is supposed to be a kid's game. This is the hardest kid's game in the universe. Ah! His mouth is almost bigger right, than your face. Let's get on with it. <laughs> okay, Cosima, let's send you home first. Wasn't that the land of the Green Isle? Yes, that's right. I can't wait to see my parents again. Yeah, fuck you, Alexander. Well, they're dead. Whoops. <laughs> oh yeah, they are dead at this point, aren't they? <laughs> ah, you're a slave when your parents are dead. Before you send us all home, Crispin, I just want to thank you for all your help. And you too, Cedric. I who? Standing here with my family without Pun intended. I was about to say, no, it's who? All in a day's work, my boy. All in a day's work. Right, Cedric? Right, Crispin. Okay, right, back Crispin. Alakazam. Alakazoo. Alakazee. Zed. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's an American <laughs> wizard. Uh, and Cedric uh, okay. fucking dies again. <laughs> As, uh, what an awkward pause. We did it! That's my other name. What an well, asshole. He is. That's not my uh, other name. The castle's name. way over there. <laughs> yeah, now we gotta walk. <laughs> let's go home, shall we? Yes, let's. Fuck you, Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> I like the detail that it has the it it's surrounded by a moat with like with uh, bridges on each side like in King's Quest One. Hey, we did a hundred percent. Nice. I uh, I think there's like one or two really minor optional things you can miss and beat the game, but I'm not totally sure on that. Um, I can't immediately think of where you could miss points and still beat the game, but there's probably something. So what did you guys think of King's Quest V? It's alright. Yeah, it's, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> I love it. I wouldn't have wanted is... to play it, but... Oh god, no. No, it's awful to play. See, the thing is, I love the game for all of its bullshit. It is a bullshit video game. Like, it is one of the most unfair games I've ever played in my life. Some of these puzzles, it's just... Like, they clearly made some of these puzzles knowing that kids are going to have to call the Sierra hotline, which was a paid hotline back in the day to get tips on Sierra games. They clearly made this with the intention of you spending money on that. Because, like, how are you supposed to know to capture the cat in a bag, then walk into the library, and just walk away from your computer for like three minutes? You're never, there's no hint. There's no hint in the game to do that. It's unbelievable. All right, can we, can we skip the no, no, we can't. Toymaker's no, son, no Voice apostrophe. Talent. Well. Toymaker's granddaughter, also no apostrophe. Jewmaker's wife has an apostrophe. Innkeeper's pal has an apostrophe. Baker's brother has no apostrophe. Huh. That's about the quality control I expect from Sierra these days. Harpy and Harpy! And Harpy, and, and Harpy! Oh, one Harpy was Josh Mandel. Good job, Josh. Wait, hold on, I saw Sir Grey Wolf there, but I didn't catch who did it. I want to look up Sir Grey Wolf and see what they're doing nowadays. Oh, wow, Rocky and Dink were both played by Prince Alexander's voice actor, which makes a whole lot of sense, <laughs> given that Alexander is a Dink. Yeah. He's extra Thanks, a dink in this game. Yeah. Quality assurance. Quality well, assurance. It explains a lot that yeah. there's only one person on the QA team. Yeah. Did Was there anyone for writing, or was it just Roberta Williams? Uh, is it looping? It's looping. Yes. Okay, everybody. I hope you liked this playthrough. On the next Let's Play, we're upgrading from a game for children to a game for preteen girls. We're going on to Nancy Drew Shadow at Water's Edge. Which is awesome. It's ridiculous and it's awesome. It's actually well made. So I can say that over top of this. It's stupid in parts, but it is a well made video game. It runs well, it's well written, 
it's genuinely funny when it tries to be funny. And Overall, it is, I'd say it's pretty well. And it's got enough Sudoku to make it a good video game. Thank you, everybody, so Man, much for watching. Until next... Exactly. And nonograms. Until next time, have a nice day. See ya. A poisonous snake! Ah, life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. 